these are the different dumpling shapes that have been made today in the culinary uh, training program. Vasily has shown us first, how they're made in Russia oh, and then the Ukraine, and then of course the good old American dumpling. Then, okay. Adding one teaspoon of baking powder to our and flour. Salt. And we're adding a quarter cup of milk. Blend this all together to make your dumplings. Russian? Yeah, Ukrainian, Russian. Did and you use the same recipe? Yes. yes. And then you're just rolling it in flour. Yes, oh, yes. this is going to be good. A special treat. He's making a Russian and Ukrainian version of a dumpling. And he's kneading it, and he's rolled it out. And this is the same exact recipe as the American dumpling, but he's putting a Russian and Ukrainian twist to it. So you said you need to wait a little bit? Yes. Wait How long? A bit. About 10 minutes, uh, maybe 20 minutes. Then I put the sausage. And he's got this ball of dough. Make a snake. Make a snake. Pinch. Pinch. And put it to the bowl. It's easy way. So this is a pinch dumpling that Vasily is showing. Very quick and easy. So you put in like Four or five cups of water. Vasily has taken his ball of dough, he's rolled it into a long snake or cigar shape. Okay, and then? I cut it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. That's One, how my grandmother does hers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, nine, and ten. That's it. And I can put this pot. Besides the wet one, this is how my grandmother does it. She's she was Polish. Um, another way you can do it is you can roll them flat, and they can actually just cut them. This is kind of what you get at some restaurants into strips or squares. And you also have now kind of a flat dumpling, mm -hmm. and you can put those in the boiling liquid, and they'll cook just the same way. So you can do the round ones where it was the cord, the flat one, or if you use less flour, there'll be we can do the panel. And all all three are equally delicious. Get a canal, get a spoonful, about a half. Okay. You can do more, it's fine just on the size, but dumplings should be bite size. So you're gonna scrape it, and then again, scrape it a couple times until you get that nice sort of egg shape. Kind of going back and forth. Okay. And when you go to put it in, just kind of finish the canal and drop it in. That's it. Okay. Your turn. And here we go. When do I do that? At the very end. At the, like once the dumplings are done.